Hey guys, Christopher Walker here, co-founder of Truth Nutra and Duke grad in neuroscience. And today I actually want to talk to you about the subject of nuts. Not that kind of nuts. I actually want to talk to you about the food nuts. Get your mind out of the gutter. I did a video on, on uh, YouTube recently that was discussing this subject and uh, the video became extremely controversial. It quickly went over half a million views. Now it's climbing toward a million views and uh, for good reason. It actually has a lot of great information in the video, but a lot of people disagree with what I'm about to say. It's very controversial. So there are a handful of common nuts that you are probably consuming on a daily basis that negatively impact your hormonal health. And I believe that your hormonal health is really the seat of your true health in your body. So I specifically believe that if you are to address your hormonal balance, if you bring your body with nutrition, supplementation, training, lowering your stress back into a level of balance where your hormones are functioning on a high level, you are going to have a very healthy endocrine system. You're gonna feel amazing, low stress. But you're also gonna have a very uh, healthy metabolic engine that's just prime because your thyroid is gonna be very healthy as well. So today I want to talk to you about the importance of looking at your nutrition through the lens of your hormonal health because there are a lot of things with nuts specifically as a good example there are a lot of other types of foods where uh, for example a lot of people tout the benefits of using nuts for micronutrient content however there are tons of other foods on the planet that you could eat that have vitamin E vitamin A etc in them uh, so you don't necessarily need to get them from nuts a lot of people also like to get protein from nuts now part of that issue is that nuts are not relatively high in protein unless you consume a lot of them. Uh, they're also very uh, high in calories. So if you're over consuming nuts uh, to get just for protein, you're actually gonna be consuming a massive amount of calories, uh, which a lot of people don't wanna end up doing on the in the first place, especially because, uh, and this is just my opinion, nuts don't even taste that good. I don't know why everyone is so enamored with them. But however, what I like to look at, because we focus on hormonal health and helping you to improve your hormonal health, I like to look at the fatty acid profiles of the nuts because if there's anything in food that impacts your hormonal health uh, either positively or negatively that I've found in the last decade of doing the research in this field it's your it's the fatty acid profile of the foods that you consume you need to make sure that you are consuming the right fats not the wrong fats now there are a lot of people say oh nuts have a bunch of healthy fats however that's just an overgeneralized statement because there are actually multiple different types of fatty acids in nuts in some of them are not good, some of them are good. Now in general, the rule of thumb for helping your hormonal health is that you wanna increase your monounsaturated fat intake and your saturated fat intake. You want to decrease your polyunsaturated fat intake, which means stuff like a lot of vegetable oils. However, polyunsaturated fats are extremely common in a lot of common nuts that we consume. Now, people might find this extremely controversial. However, this is not my opinion. I'm actually just translating research to you. This is what scientific researchers in peer-reviewed studies have found to positively impact your hormonal health is to increase your saturated fat and your monounsaturated fat intake and to lower your polyunsaturated fat intake. So with regards to nuts, let's look at the research behind the specific types of nuts, which ones you should avoid and which ones you should consume. All right, for an unknown reason, first off, some nuts, namely almonds and walnuts, have been shown to increase SHBG levels by 10 to 20%. And since SHBG binds to free T and DHT, running them inactive, this actually would mean that nuts may reduce androgen bioavailability. Now, many types of nuts are incredibly high in polyunsaturated fat, so we'll just refer to them as PUFAs. And an increased intake of PUFAs has been well proven to lower T levels via increased oxidative damage in storage tissues. Now, most nuts are also dense in phytosterols. Some consider this to be a benefit because phytosterols compete with the bodily cholesterol and reduce its levels. However, the thing is that all of our natural steroid hormones are made from cholesterol and high intake of phytosterols can interfere with this. Now, does this mean that all nuts should be banned from your list? No, definitely not. There are some nuts that are positive for your hormonal health and others that are not. All right, here are some nuts that can positively, beneficially impact your T levels which is especially important for guys, but also important for women. Macadamia nuts are very high in tea-boosting monounsaturated fats. They contain only about 2% polyunsaturated fats. Also, Brazil nuts are very high in pro-testosterone, micronutrients, zinc, boron, selenium, and magnesium, and they're not overly high in polyunsaturated fats. You also should not consume more than two or three Brazil nuts a day, as they contain a lot of selenium, and that keeps the fatty acids very, very low when consuming the Brazil nuts. Also, tiger nuts have been found to dose-dependently increase T levels, but the mechanism is unknown. 
Now let's look at some nuts that will negatively impact your T levels and negatively impact your hormonal health. Avoid these. First off, pistachios. One study shows how a diet rich in pistachios reduce T levels in men, likely due to the high phytosterol content. Also, walnuts, very high in polyunsaturated fatty acids and have been shown to increase SHBG levels, rendering some free tea inactive, which is not good. Next up, almonds, very, very common nut, relatively high in polyunsaturated fats and likewise have been shown to raise SHBG and thus lower free tea. Next up is peanuts, although they're not really nuts, they're legumes. They're very high in polyunsaturated fats and very high in cytosterol and that's been shown to lower the 5-alpha reductase enzyme and DHT levels. One of the biggest things that I've found over the years of researching into natural tea production and natural hormonal health is just the fact that there are a lot of foods out there that can be extremely confusing. And sometimes we think that we're consuming something, uh, like maybe walnuts or almonds, where we think they're really healthy because a lot of people tout uh, how healthy they are for the, all these other things. However, when it comes to your hormonal health, it can really negatively impact things. So at a certain point, you can become very overwhelmed with the fact that a lot of foods seem to be very controversial or seem to uh, negatively impact your T levels. It can be hard to disseminate information uh, based on where you get it, whether, you know, what is true or not. And we use all research. We look at the scientific research uh, from, from peer-reviewed studies that are in scientific databases to, to generate our recommendations for people. But it can still be extremely confusing. And that's where Truth Nutra comes in because Truth Nutra is my all-natural supplement company and we make these very well-designed formulas that are natural alternatives to things that are typically uh, given to you as synthetics to solve problems, but those synthetic things never actually solve the problem from the inside out. We're more interested in working with your body from the inside out to solve things uh, like hormonal health problems. So today I actually wanna talk, if you are interested in raising your T levels naturally, if you are a man and you are interested in helping your hormonal health, bringing back that balance, increasing your muscle mass, lowering your body fat, having a much more dominant sense of well-being, what I refer to as restoring your biological masculinity, uh, then you might want to check out Testro X. Now Testro X is our all natural uh, tea boosting formula that is carefully designed with only ingredients that are proven in human peer reviewed research to achieve the desired effect. They're in the exact dosages that are found in those studies to actually achieve that effect. And we also put the most bioavailable form of each ingredient into the formula. Now we have the most common micronutrients that a lot of guys are deficient in that are used as the raw materials to build these awesome masculine hormones in your body. So when you correct those deficiencies, even in as little as the first month of use, uh, you actually can see a lot of the results and the energy really just jumping back into your life. Uh, we also have some herbs, some adaptogenic herbs like KSM 66 organic ashwagandha, which is extremely potent for lowering stress levels. Stress can be one of the biggest things that suppresses your tea production. Uh, and then we also have a blend in there called uh, the LH Surge blend of inositol, glycine, and L-theanine that stimulates LH production in your brain to stimulate your Leydig cells to produce more tea. So the goal is to naturally work with your body's processes to produce more of your own tea and bring your body back into a state of hormonal balance. And it's something that can help to really you know, work with the issue from the inside to the point where uh, you probably won't have to take it eventually when you correct all these things, like correcting the micronutrient deficiencies, correcting the stress, and uh, working on stimulating your own LH production in your brain. You can avoid things like hormone replacement therapy uh, which a lot of guys are resorting to, which don't solve any problems. They're really just a Band-Aid solution. So if you're interested in checking out Testro X, I highly advise you do because we believe so strongly in our formulas. We offer a 60-day money-back guarantee. If you have any issues, if you don't like it for any reason, in the first 60 days, just call us or email us and we will refund your money immediately. No questions asked. That's how strongly we believe in these formulas. So if you wanna try Testro X out today or just learn more about the formula, uh, learn more about the level of education that you get with it, I'm also going to include a digital copy of my new book, uh, Master Your Tea. You can actually see it right here, it's on the table. Uh, I will give you a digital copy of Master Your Tea. It's a giant book, it's literally everything from A to Z you could ever wanna know about increasing your natural tea production and bring your body back into a state of balance. I believe so highly in self-education that anybody who buys a bottle of Testro X today, even with our 60-day money-back guarantee, will also get a free digital copy of Master Your Tea. So you can learn everything from A to Z, all the nutrition, the training, uh, all the chemicals you need to avoid, 
Every single step you need to take in the framework to naturally bring your tea back into a state of balance where you're feeling awesome again, you feel like a brand new man. So if you wanna learn more about Testro X, click through to the next page to learn more.